in continuing epidemiology we will discuss this session according to following learning objectives we will discuss bias we will discuss various types of bias we will define bias and then what is web of causation what is endemic epidemic its types and pandemic in the end we will summarize the session let's start with bias what is bias bias is an error it's a systemic error so we can define bias as a systemic error it will affect the outcome of the study when it arises it are, it can arise at any stage or at any step of study a study has multiple steps at any step bias can arise and can affect the outcome of the study so there are many types of bias like selection bias as the name indicates it arises during selection of subjects then analysis bias it can arise during analysis and confounding bias then there is parkinsonian bias parkinsonian bias was invented by dr joseph parkinsonian then there is recall bias there may be interpretation bias so while selection bias what is selection bias before conducting a study we select certain subjects or we take a sample when we take inappropriate sample it may arise like in case control study if we are selecting cases of lung cancer and we select inappropriate cases or cases of different time period selection bias may arise so it is arise during selection then what is recall bias recall bias is also called memory bias when we select cases cases of chronic diseases these are old people there is loss of memory in them so there is difficulty in recalling the previous events like you ask when you started smoking when first signs and symptoms appear when cough start so there may be difficulty in recalling it will arise then there is parkinsonian bias cases are selected from different hospitals or source of selection of cases is different source of selection of data is different dr joseph berkinsonian said that bias or error may arise while selecting cases from different hospitals cases are selected from different places diagnostic criteria of different hospitals may vary admission criteria of different hospitals is different so this can arise then there is confounding bias what is confounding confounder is a factor or confusing factor what it can do it can affect the outcome outcome of study like hilly area is a confounder in goiter hilly, hilly area in hilly area goiter is common but it is due to iron deficiency or uh, age may be a confounder in case control study gender may be a confounder in case control study 
so it arises in case control study or it is common in case control study then there is analysis bias while analyzing data an analyst may calculate incorrectly he may calculate odds ratio incorrectly or may not he or he may not correctly calculate relative risk this bias will arise this is calculation bias then there is interpretation bias who interpret the results on the basis of relative risk attributable risk we may interpret like relative risk of one shows no association but someone wrongly says that it is positive association or attributable risk it is a specificity in a study a specificity of risk factor we may interpret wrongly this bias will arise so we discussed that bias arises at different stages first we will select then we will analyze then we will interpret in selection there is selection bias there is parkinsonian bias in analysis there is recall bias there is analysis bias in interpretation there is interpretation bias so you must remember various stages of a study at various stages at any stage stage any bias can occur while selection confounding bias is also common there is common as mcq that confounding bias occurs in case control study so what is web of causation there are multiple risk factor factors or multiple risk factors are involved in causation of certain disease like in chronic diseases multiple risk factors are involved they form a web they inter inter integrate then the disease occurs or we can say simply that multiple risk factors cause a single disease or single disease can be associated with multiple risk factors they integrate and cause the risk factor or cause the disease so it may be defined as disease caused by multiple risk factors they integrate so integration occurs then they cause signs and symptoms and outcome occurs like in ischemic heart disease lifestyle changes cause the disease smoking can cause the disease stress can cause the disease aging can cause the disease so there are four major risk factors change in lifestyle smoking stress and aging some of them are modifiable some of them are non modifiable what they cause your lifestyle changes someone is taking fast food or abundant food or unhealthy diet or balanced diet they are not taking balanced diet they will become obese their weight will increase when weight will increase it can cause hyperlipidemia 
hyperlipidemia can cause atherosclerosis, which causes coronary occlusion and lifestyle changes. People smoke. When they smoke, there is increased thrombotic activity. Or when there is lack of physical activity, there is increased catecholamine, increased thrombotic activity, there is coronary occlusion and ischemic heart disease. It can cause ischemic heart disease. While stress is also a risk factor of ischemic heart disease. What it, it can cause? It can cause emotional disturbance. Emotional disturbance can raise your blood pressure. It causes hypertension. Hypertension can cause coronary occlusion. Aging. When people become old, there are changes in walls of arteries. They become thick. There is occlusion in blood circulation. When there is occlusion in blood circulation, there is myocardial infarction. So all these factors integrate and cause the disease. Sometimes only lifestyle changes can cause the disease. Sometimes smoking, sometimes emotional disturbance, but aging is a continuous process. There is danger that it causes ischemic heart disease. So if you minimize the risk factors, certain risk factors can be minimized, like lifestyle. Lifestyle can be, can be changed. People can take balanced diet. They can do physical activity. We can control blood pressure. In turn, we can control coronary occlusion and myocardial infarction in people. Otherwise, when all these factors combine, they contribute towards myocardial infarction. So, we can say that there are risk factors. A major risk factor which cause the disease. Like lifestyle changes. Like smoking, stress, aging. With time, people have changed their lifestyle. Their standard has improved. Income has improved. So there are trends of eating fast food. There are trends of going to hotels. There are trends of less physical activity. People travel in cars. They don't walk. So they are not doing any physical activity. Smoking has become a fashion. People smoke. Then it becomes a habit. In the end, it becomes an addiction. Stress. Fast life. People are moving forward. Life is very fast. It causes stress. Stress causes hypertension. Then aging, it is a natural process. But certain factors can be minimized. They can be reduced. We can do interventions. We can do interventions on lifestyle. We always talk lifestyle modification in hypertension. Lifestyle modification in, ischem in ischemic heart disease. You have to change your lifestyle. You have to do physical activity. You have to take balanced diet. We can guide people. We can create awareness. We can educate them. We can educate towards smoking. We should ban smoking. We can educate them towards stress. So, these are modifiable risk factors. Modifiable. What is meant by modifiable? We can change them. And this is non modifiable risk factor. Let's suppose four factors are contributing, disease process become fast. But when we minimize three factors, one factor can cause the disease, but it can cause slowly. The disease will be less severe. So, these factors contribute towards each other. <laughs> now, we will discuss endemic. What is endemic? Some diseases usually occur. Or some diseases appear in every season. Or some diseases are present during the whole year. This is called endemic. We can say usual occurrence of a disease. is called endemic, like typhoid. Typhoid is endemic in Pakistan. Malaria. Malaria is endemic in Pakistan. Or we can talk about endemic goiter.
all the, these diseases are present in normal frequency typhoid malaria endemic goiter they are present in our population when we talk about usual occurrence there is a common mcq usual occurrence of disease is called endemic this is not epidemic we you can give example of these diseases then what is epidemic when this usual occurrence becomes unusual unusual occurrence of a disease is epidemic so we can say unusual occurrence but cases should rise to four times four time rise in cases this is epidemic but disease which is not usually present are usually endemic are usually prevalent its first case or first diagnosed case is called epidemic first case like coronavirus was not present in pakistan before 2020 so first case of coronavirus is called epidemic in pakistan and typhoid unusual occurrence of typhoid when typhoid cases rise up to four times this is called epidemic of typhoid or first case of polio is also epidemic so coronavirus polio their first cases are epidemic we can also give example of rabies it is not usually present so first detected or first diagnosed case of rabies is epidemic but diseases which are usually present like typhoid when their cases rise up to four times they become epidemic onset of epidemic is sudden epidemic appears suddenly what are various types of epidemic there are three types of epidemic number one common source epidemic common source then there is propagated epidemic then there is slow epidemic or modern epidemic what is common source as the name indicates there is single source or there is common source propagated which makes a chain which spreads from person to person slow which takes time to appear so there are two types of common source epidemic common source single exposure and common source multiple exposure single exposure there is only one exposure and in common source multiple exposure there are repeated exposures but source is common there is one source what is common source single exposure epidemic it's epidemic of food poisoning there is single source onset is simultaneous and the cases of this epidemic arise suddenly and disappear suddenly curve we can make the curve of this epidemic like cases arise and then disappear this is common source epidemic curve or common source single exposure epidemic curve incubation period is short and you must remember the example of food poisoning what is common source multiple exposure or common source repeated exposure epidemic it's epidemic of from water like people take water four times six times or exposure is multiple are repeated then there is common source multiple exposure epidemic when university asks someone has taken food from a hotel and developed food poisoning this is common source single exposure but someone is drinking water from well this is common source repeated exposure epidemic exposure are different in different persons like one has four time exposures other has six exposures this epidemic develops it also has short incubation period it appears suddenly and disappears suddenly 
Then what is propagated? Epidemic. As the name indicates, there is a chain formation. Epidemic of communicable diseases. Epidemic of these diseases, propagated epidemic, like epidemic of measles, coronavirus, epidemic of chickenpox, these are propagated epidemic cause when one person becomes infected with measles, he may infect others. Others may infect others. This form the chain. When someone becomes infected with coronavirus, he infects others, they infect others, and this epidemic spreads rapidly. It takes time to disappear. Burden increases. Chief chickenpox epidemic, and then we can say epidemic of malaria. Malaria is vector borne disease. Mosquito, female anophilus mosquito bites a person, injects plasmodium causes malaria, then another mosquito bites the person, transfers plasmodium to other persons. So, secondary attack rate, we can find secondary attack rate from these diseases. Are they spread from person to person? Are they spread through vectors? So, there is difference between common source and propagated epidemic. Propagated epidemic is more severe. It can infect a huge population. Then there is slow epidemic, chronic diseases. like hypertension, diabetes, cancers. They have longer latent period. Their incubation period is greater. They appear slowly. Most of them uh, have lesser symptoms are asymptomatic. Like hypertension, most cases are asymptomatic. They affect the community. They form an iceberg. Iceberg of disease. Our chronic disease show iceberg phenomena of disease. Slow epidemic may appear after 20 to 30 years. So we have to investigate them. We have to diagnose them. We have to screen them. We have to see their burden in community, see their spectrum in community. Then what is pandemic? Like coronavirus has crossed all the borders. When disease crosses borders, it spreads to a wide geographical area. This is pandemic. So wide geographic area. You can give example of coronavirus nowadays. It has affected whole world. Our epidemic of influenza. How diseases cross the border through traveling? One asymptomatic person of coronavirus travels to Pakistan from South Africa. He transfers coronavirus to Pakistan. One person who has influenza travels from America to Pakistan, he can cause influenza in Pakistan. So this pandemic spreads throughout the world, spreads rapidly throughout the world, infects or affects the whole world. It causes greater mortality, greater morbidity, burden increases, hospitals collapse. We need to intervene. We need to restrict, restrict traveling during these pandemics or epidemics. Then we will summarize the session. We have discussed bias. It's a common university question. What is bias? What are various types of bias? So you must know any systematic error which can affect the outcome of studies bias. What are types? Type selection bias, Berkinsonian bias, confounding bias, analysis bias, interpretation bias. Then we discuss web of causation. Certain diseases have multiple risk factors like ischemic heart disease. Multiple risk factors influence and cause the disease. You can say the lifestyle changes, smoking, stress, aging. They all contribute. They all thicken our arteries. They all, all occlude blood circulation. They cause the disease. Then we discussed endemic, epidemic. Pandemic. Endemic. Usual occurrence of disease. Epidemic. Unusual occurrence. Cases arise to four times. What is pandemic when disease crosses the border? We have also discussed various types of epidemic. They are common source. Propagated. Endemic. 
and slow. Types of epidemic is a usual university question. What is common source epidemic? That spreads to a common source. That spreads to a single source. Either due to one exposure or due to multiple exposure. There are two types. Common source single exposure and common source multiple exposure. Propagated epidemic will form a chain. Disease spreads spread from person to person like coronavirus, measles, malaria. They have propagated epidemic. Scantic attack rate is higher. They infect others, form the chain. Increase the burden of disease, increase the mortality, increase the morbidity, then pandemic. Then what is slow epidemic, gradual epidemic, epidemic of chronic diseases. This is a common MCQ. Epidemic of hypertension is slow epidemic. It arises gradually. Most of the cases of hypertension are asymptomatic. We have to screen them, we have to diagnose them to decrease or to reduce burden in the community. So that's all.